Hey there YouTube, good evening. This is just an update on the pressure washer here. Um, I got some good news and some bad news. The good news is the engine ran, it ran and started all right. Uh, the pump worked and it did uh, put out pressure of water, so that's, that's in check. The problem was is uh, the hose exploded just as I was starting to use it. I would have never thought that this uh, outside covering would have been really much of an issue. Um, it's it's chewed up in several places. I think the mice got to it. It's gnawed in several places. And where the hose connects to the, to the machine, I was using um, the washer and all of a sudden, um, just a big geyser of water just splashed up at me and I saw that the hose bursted. The great news is um, I looked up hoses on eBay and they're pretty cheap, so I'll just get a new hose for it. Not a big deal. And I just and I just dragged this piece of junk home today. This is a Simplicity 555 two-stage snowblower. I got it for 25 bucks. Um, I was at the sale. I, I gathered up a bunch of tools and I offered them 30 bucks for the snowblower and the tools. So I got the snowblower and the tools for 30 bucks. This one is uh, three speed. It's got a five horsepower Tecumseh engine on it. It's a little rusty, but it's solid. The great news is the skid shoes are in great shape. A lot of these two stage snowblowers, people just wear the skid shoes down. And thank God um, the skid shoes weren't wore out because uh, the scraper, there's still a little bit of it left. Um, the bucket's saved, thank God. The bucket's solid. Um, there's, just, there's just a small margin of skid, just a small margin of uh, scraper left. So those skid shoes actually save the scraper or the bucket from getting wore out. The auger belt seems fine. Uh, the drive belt um, has some chunks taken out of it. I'll just get a new drive belt for it. The tires, uh, they're a little bit cracked on the side, but I think they'll be okay just selling the machine as is. I put like 40 pounds of air pressure in them and they hold pretty good, even though 40 is, ex is excessive for these. The throttle stuck on the carburetor. I'm not going to even bother um, cleaning and repairing that carburetor. I'll just get a brand new one. I don't know if the engine runs. It's got compression. I imagine I'll just, uh, I could just uh, spray a little, uh, what's that, starting fluid in the carburetor and it would probably fire. These things always fire. The oil's full, so, yep. I think was, this thing will probably start and run. It's from 1984. Uh, one of the reasons why I picked this up is because it's small. Um, I think I think there's a lot of people out there that don't like these oversized blowers, but this one is kind of a nice size. I like my little uh, snapper snow blower, my four horsepower or five horsepower one. And yeah, um, I figured this would be a good project uh, to fix before winter and profit during winter or just before winter. And yeah, um, you got to buy something to make a profit. If you find a good deal to profit, pick it up. That's what I do. And that concludes the video. Bye.